As you've seen, I've been busy. I did a contract on field, field was that? I believe it was 33. Did that, finished that, got that all wrapped up. And then I delivered two loads of silage. So silage, it's moving, it's I still have a lot left. But I did lease this trailer. It's a 70,000 liter trailer. It's working wonders. Heading over to I believe it is the livestock barn because they have a better price. I did sell one in the livestock barn before and now I'm selling the, I sold a second load inside our um, biogas plant um, because the price dropped drastically. So now the price is back up so I'm going to go sell that. Um, I didn't do anything while I was doing the harvest. I just borrowed some equipment and got that field done. Um, that took a little bit, but we made some money out of it. As you would have seen already, I already left the um, price of everything and what we got on the screen. So you should have been able to see that. Um, but I was thinking while I was doing that field, that I might make this a, a, a like a fast farm kind of map. Um, which means, you know, buying equipment that makes you every job go a little bit quicker. Um, there's, you know, every a lot of equipment can be used to fast farm. Um, so I'm thinking about maybe doing that. Um, not 100% yet, but we'll see. I do think I want to buy a header for a, tr um, for a harvester because that's going to make life easier if I can drive faster while harvesting. If I do other jobs, I'll be able to harvest 10 times faster. Um, that means I can run through a bunch of jobs. Um, also looking at a new tractor that I want, but it's a little pricey, so that'll hold off for now. Um, but we will get something a lot bigger. Uh, once we get all this sold, we could be looking at some good money, might, might need to buy a farm. We'll see. I'm gonna try to do as many jobs. Some of them will be off screen um, and Try to get as many jobs as I possibly can done. Keep the money coming in and uh, keep progression uh, progressing. So. We'll see. Now all this stuff is still leased. I haven't bought anything else. I did lease um, the, uh, the belt system. Got that to, um, to load into here. Um, other than that, haven't purchased anything, haven't leased anything else. Um, so now we're just going day by day, getting this stuff all settled. Now I was thinking I do want to do maybe cows um, or pigs. I haven't decided yet. I know pigs don't really pay off that much and you do have to put a lot of, uh, a lot of product in them. But if we buy the product for a cheap price, maybe we can make a profit off of it. But you do need a lot of pigs. Um, so we'll see and I'm not 100% sure which field which uh, barn has all the all the pigs and everything I know the one next to us has um, chickens and cows but we'll see we'll uh, I'll look into it and see which one which one has pigs but we already own some cows so we might as well do cows maybe we'll do both who knows we'll look we'll see what we can do but I love it. I'm going to buy one of these once once we get a little more money. I love this trailer. Now, since I'm already in the middle of the road, I might as well just go. Don't hit me. Thank you. Now, we already own those cows, so we might as well just take them. We might as well put them in, a, in a, our own pasture. Let's get this unloaded. I can't remember how much I made last time off of this. Um... I think it was only like 30,000, maybe a little more. Let's see how good we do here.
That's not bad. That's not bad at all. If price stays up, I'm going to sell everything here. Yeah, 30000 Not bad. All right, let's go get another load. Alright, let's see what jobs we can do for the time being while that's being processed. Alright, so we got Barley on field 11, possibly do. Ooh, that's not a bad one. Oats, 15 grand. I can maybe make that faster. Yeah, let's take that one. Alright, so 15 grand on field 12. Now, where is field 12? I'm going to guess, oh, okay, a good size field, but it should be right down the street from the store. Not bad. What I want to do, you have the height adjustment tool for harvesters. It'll give you every header in the game. But it says at the bottom, if you can see that, it says tool height control for harvester. Now, that's a big harvester, but I feel like most of our harvesters probably not going to be that big. But maybe we'll go with a normal size one, maybe a nine. It's going to make our life a lot faster. We're going to be going a lot faster than anyway uh, than anything, anyways. I'm gonna buy that. And now we can go to the store and. Uh, Take a look. I think out of here, I think we just have to go this way. It's going to be a little tight. Should make it beautiful. It's going to look weird for this giant harvester to have just this little little header on it but because we can drive so much faster it'll actually work out oh, did i go the wrong way possibly yep can i cut through here no doesn't look like it oh crap Taking a detour through this guy's backyard. Come on. Can't even do that right. I need a district now that I'm all unstuck. Yeah, this looks right. Now, the field is actually below us. I don't actually know how to get to that field. Hmm, interesting. Take a look at the bigger map. So that goes through there, and it looks like this farm. You have to go through the farm to get to that field? Yeah, you must. Okay. I learned something new. Apparently you have to go through the farm to get to field 12. Interesting. 
Oh well. Now this is the other farm here. There's three major ones. This is Malt House Farm. Yeah, it does come with field 12, so that makes sense. Um, but that one is 450,000. A little bit more expensive. Got lots of storage, I'll tell you that. And field 12. Looks like it's this big guy right here. this up and then I'm going to go and grab the um, trailer make sure we're all set there actually you know what I'll do my first headland first now this see I can adjust this by myself with this uh, mod so as long as I have this on here down to a good level you can harvest it 24 miles per hour no problems nothing at all now the one thing you do have to worry about when you have swath drop behind you you are harvesting pretty quick so that swath is gonna be big at the end um, but I can shut that off for now I don't need that that is not something we have to worry about with this contract because I can't pick it up anyways. So, we don't need it. But it is nice driving nice speed all the way down. Yeah, this field will take us no time once we get going. And I, I will set a worker off probably, but he will not harvest at 24. So, I'll probably get what I can done, maybe a couple headlands. Um, depending on the capacity, then I'll go get the trailer, maybe set a worker off while I'm gone, and um, yeah, then it can do whatever he needs to do to get the rest of this done, and uh, then I'll take over for him when I get back, but this makes life a hundred times easier. So now this is already full. The field is almost done. It's got about maybe a quarter of the field left. Let's just make sure I'm going to the old water mill. Let's just take a right. Traffic is always hectic. Not too bad today. Alright, so we'll go down here. Oh, I did want to mention, I want to... Thank you to uh, 
Gamer UK commented letting me know that this map was not by Lancy Boy, which I, I did figure out uh, when the map got updated a couple days ago. Um, I did see that it was not by Lancy Boy. It was by GB Modding. And I apologize, that was absolutely wrong. GB Modding did make um, this map and Six Ashes. And for some reason, when I was looking at maps the other day to figure out which one I wanted to do a Let's Play on, um, I had Lancy Boy stuck in my head from other maps, and I apologize. That is absolutely by GB Modding, so I was wrong. But thank you. Thank you, Gamer UK. Um, oh, I do have a helper helping me on the field while I was loading this. Looks like he stopped as the workers can't do anything on their own. I'm about to miss it. And is there anyone behind me? No. All right, let's back up. Mm, let's see. Make that? Yeah, we'll make that. All right. So this is the first load off of this field. Um, I don't know. It'll probably take all of this, and then we'll see how much we have left over to sell. I'll figure out the best price for that. And uh, I don't think this is going to fit straight. Oh, it does. Just barely. Yeah, just barely. So after that, we'll, uh, we'll see how we make out. Now, I was thinking I have uh, the grass on. Let's take that off. I was thinking about buying. There's two grass fields here that lead up to this farm. Now, if I can cut those grass, cut this grass, and we do have some here that has all trees on it, and up here that has trees on it, but we do own it, maybe if I clear that out, clear that out, and get these two fields that we usually cut through, we cut through this field as well, um, might be able to get all that grass for the next silage harvest. So cut this next time. Cut all this. I believe that's grass. I mean, I don't see. Yeah, it's all grass. Um, I'm thinking maybe not this farm, even though it is cheaper and will get us started. I'm thinking about waiting a little bit and picking up this farm. Um, we would get a 27 and we'd get two other fields. 30, 25 and 26 are pretty big fields. Um, 27, we could do whatever we wanted to. Right now, it's sugar beets in there, but... I mean, we could do whatever we wanted to in there. Um, it looks like they're pretty much going to be fertilized. I mean, uh, harvesting that soon. So if they can get that off the field, even better. That means we don't have to take it off or cultivate it in. But having all those grass fields, and I believe right here there is a pig pen. So we could do pigs, and I think they have cows as well. So it might work out better to get this, this farm instead. But... We'll see. It is a dairy, so I'm going to guess they do have uh, some cows. Maybe we'll think about that, but that's up to 450. And the other one over here, uh, over here, the one we're on right now is about 450 as well. Those are the three major ones. So maybe we'll look into that. I don't want to do this because it's you only get one field. You get this little field, it's kind of hidden, um, but you do get this field kind of small um, this that's a lot of field right there for grass and these two I mean that's only a hundred grand roughly so that that might work out better for us but we'll play it by ear all right this is all unloaded let's see what we can do get the rest of this field done I did sell another load of silage and I threw the remainder that was in there I think it was like 12,000 liters um, into the biogas just because it's right there. Um, so that'll keep ticking over and uh, we'll get paid at midnight. I have, we had one full load and then about 12,000. So we had about 80, 82,000 liters that we put through there. Um, so we should get paid a good amount for that. Um, it's not as good as the livestock market, but I mean, it's, it's money. It can be useful. Um, so we're at 150 right now. After this field, we should be uh, we should be looking all right. And then I have to go and uh, cut a bunch of grass. I might buy those fields though. I think that's gonna be next on the to-do list is buy those fields, get those uh, cut with our main field, because um, that will definitely uh, 
definitely improve how much we get. If we can get, you know, an extra 200,000 liters, that'd be fantastic. We only had about 300,000 off the first cut. Um, and I did realize that, let me look back in here. This is a field. This is absolutely a field. The part that cuts off here that has that little driveway. That part is not a field, but this whole part is a field. So it can be fertilized again. I didn't realize in time because it's ready to cut, but this part's not a field. So that is just extra grass. That's not a, you know, you can't put a third or a second uh, fertilizer state on it, but you can here. So next time I'll make sure to fertilize this so we can get a better cut off that. Um, it still, I believe needs plowing. Yeah. So what I think I might do is uh, lease a plow, plow that all up, lease a cedar, just seed it real quick. Uh, these don't need plowing at all. So we should be all right there. That one needs lime, so we'll look into that. Um, but it doesn't need to be plowed. So after we maybe buy those two, we can cut, fertilize those, and uh, definitely make an improvement on how much we get. But we'll see. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it right now. Let's buy that. And let's buy that. All right. Now, we're back down to 56,000. But we have three fields now full of grass, which next uh, tomorrow we'll be able to get money off of them for those fields. So that'd be nice. Let's see how far uh, the, the worker stops. So let's go get him working and uh, finish off this field. All right, so that is now the whole field complete. It only took about, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. Not too bad with this big header. Um, I mean, yes, we could have went with the bigger one, um, but I think the harvester I'm looking at maybe getting later on down the road when we have um, <clears throat> actual fields and actual crops. Um, it doesn't have the highest horsepower, but it does have a nice big tank. So we'll be able to harvest for longer with a smaller header still going, you know, a good speed. Um, so once we look into that, um, that's further down the road once we get into actual farming and not just cutting grass. But I'm going to take on as many jobs as I can to, you know, fill out that area here. All right, so this guy is done. I'm going to park this guy off to the side for now. And I'll drive this back and leave the header at the shop um, just so that when we do other harvest jobs it's there we just have to pick it up and that's it let's drive this guy back over uh, what is our job at 99 percent so should only need to drop off a tiny bit of this and the rest we can sell on our own now where is the best price for it now this is oats if we're looking down here that's oats right there first column it's like nine, yeah, nine sixteen. British grain is our best price at the moment. Let's get finished with the contract and then we'll head over to British grain and sell off the rest of this because we don't have a silo. We can't store it. So when we get a farm, we'll get a silo and we'll be able to store it. Now we will probably need a uh, fertilize, somehow, some means of fertilization. Um, I'm thinking probably solid fertilizer at first we'll see I know there's a bunch of um, buy points for fertilizer and stuff and there's one that's very cheap I might go that route just to save us a little bit of money until we work our way up um, that way we're not costing us anything not hurting the bank too much by you know buying so much seed and fertilizer to do our things now we will have to plow out that field after we cut it one more time. So we'll uh, lease a plow 
get that out there. But we'll see how she goes. It's nothing crazy. But I might get a truck and a trailer as well. Um, after we get, I do, I did return the uh, 70,000 liter trailer. Um, did return that and returned the belts. Because all that silage is gone, so there's no need to have the belts for a little while. So instead of us costing us money, it'll, uh, we can just lease it next time. They're not too bad. Um, even the trailer, I think is only like 30 grand to buy the trailer, so leasing it is like two grand. Um, so it's not too bad. If we need it, we'll use it. We'll make plenty of money when we, you know, do unload silage and stuff. We made 30 grand off one load. So it pays for itself. So that's perfect. Let's unload this. We'll wait and see when it completes. Boom. Ah, we really only need like 10 liters more. Okay. So now, go to British Green. I'll highlight that. Where is British? Uh, of course. It's in the tightest part of the map. All right, let's go see if we can do it in this big guy. Pull into this guy's grassy area here. Beautiful. can't complete the contract or else all these container and ever this entire vehicle will disappear including all those oats that are in it at the moment so we'll go sell this first and then we'll get rid of it um, return it to its owner and get paid for the job so we're at 57 right now and uh, the job was I think 15 but we did lease the equipment so let's see we did, we did borrow the equipment so it's gonna be about 13 grand um, so we're looking about 70 grand we'll have in the bank and not including what we get for this so all in all not bad not bad um, obviously we spent some money so it's not as noticeable but it'll definitely uh we'll do the trick to keep some money coming in we love this scenery out here is beautiful 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 we sell this thinking about seeing if I know the other two fields are ready to harvest so I might start mowing those um, I might try to get a bigger mower out here um, see if we can get you know a nice size mower um, get those two done hopefully the third our, our main one um, continues to grow it's got one more stage to grow um, I'll, I'll see if I can pass this car oh, yeah, no one I do want to buy the fishery. That's only 30 grand, but we can wait on that. That's not the end of the world. Um, it will keep money coming in, so we got a lot of things to look at. We'll see. And I can always take a loan out if I really need it or just want to get things rolling, which I might do. Uh, take a loan out. We can easily pay that off once we start selling more silage. Um, you know, we can pay off a couple hundred a hundred thousand dollars easily so tight there hey buddy we gotta figure out exactly where this place is let's open up the little map Ooh. sorry guys my bad all right so let's go to the left Hit this road Ooh, i almost got hit last time and take another left. Mm. 
now. There's the marker. It should be just in here. Let's see. Yeah, it's a nice big uh, open area. Ah, it's in there. Okay. Try to bring this around at least a little bit. Straighten that back out. See if we can open that door. Jump on the truck, no problem. Beautiful. Door opened. The truck. Let's see how much we get for this. We're not gonna get 22,000, but we'll get somewhere close. Bring that out a little bit. All right, 20,000. 20,000 extra went into our account. Beautiful. This way, back to the farm, back to the store actually, and drop all this off. We gotta go get the harvester, drop off the header at the store, and uh, good. <laughs>